me start off this video by saying I don't mean any disrespect to anybody. In fact, I'm in my own backyard this weekend. We're going to be visiting a woods that Mandy refuses to go to. And I'll show you why. Minnesota is no different than any other part of the country. We have issues with homelessness, drug addiction, mental health issues. All too often, this woods is kind of the last chance for some of those people. Unfortunately, sometimes when those people burn all their bridges and can't crash on any more coaches, they find themselves in this woods. I talked to a number of locals who said that they don't come back here. It's just too sketchy. I was here about a year ago and did a video. I think I titled it, this place is beautiful but trashed. I was talking with some of the locals and they said that the state has been in here working, trying to clean this place up. So I thought we would come back and see what it looks like. <laughs> Holy buckets, that was the biggest water hole that I've driven through yet. That was awesome. Oh boy, this this does not look good. This is where I wanted to stay tonight. Man, it's trashed. It's pretty obvious who was ever here last was here for a long time and thinking that maybe their tent caught on fire. Who knows? This place is a mess. Well, she's empty. I think they did have a camper back here. That looks like an awning. Just a little bit of everything in here. These could be good spark plug wires yet. There's an owner's manual to a vehicle. Dish network remote. Is that like a medical device? Something that um, you would wear if you got like a broken back or something? That's one of them warming blankets. I guess the good news is I'm not seeing any baby food or baby bottles out here. Let's go see where this trail leads. Just another beautiful spot up here. A lot of trash though. I'd absolutely love to clean this place up. You've seen in other videos that Mandy and I, we got like 13 leaf bags full of trash out of one campsite. Here though, we're gonna need probably a dump trailer, a skid loader. There's a lot of trash here. I don't know, would you stay here? I think I'm gonna. This place is just screaming for a campfire and someone to use it how it was intended. I worry though that if a conservation officer comes back here, gates are gonna go up and no one's gonna be using this place. So maybe Monday, I'll call the state rec department who oversees this area and see if they'd allow me to come in here with a loader and dump trailer and clean this up. I don't know, it all takes money. And anytime the state's involved, paperwork.
well, here's my plan. I'm just gonna clean up the area around the point for now. Um, get this trash picked up. I can carry a couple of bags home with me. At least it'll be nice and clean out here for when we have a fire later tonight. crazy how the wind blew in the clouds and the mood at this place completely changes. But I think cleaning it up will help. Oh man, there's even a TV back here. Oh boy. At least I don't see any trash in the water. Well, this might sound a little weird, but cleaning this place up almost gives you a sense of ownership. Um, otherwise, you're just coming in here and using it. And don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna be able to clean this whole place up. At least when I walk out of the back of the camper tonight, it's not gonna feel like I'm camping in a junkyard. At least we can consolidate it a little bit, maybe. Watch out for nails. Oddly enough, I'm not finding a lot of drug paraphernalia. Uh, burner phones, but no needles. I don't think these folding tents are that cheap. One lightly used cooler for sale. You can hit me up through my email. It's in the video description. So check it out. This side and all the way around the back side of the camper, all cleaned up. Worked up a sweat on that one. I think now after seeing it though, really two or three people could come out here, clean this up in an afternoon. I think that could be loaded in the bed of a pickup truck. Take it all out to the landfill. Tomorrow morning when we step out of the camper with a hot cup of coffee, it should be a beautiful view. And I'll show you what these sites look like up here. Much, much better. This here, just gonna leave it like I found it. Now don't get the wrong idea about this woods either. I mean, not everybody that comes out here is up to no good. There's a lot of people that still use this for a recreation area. In fact, two people just showed up across the lake. We've got a van and then a group of about five vehicles pulled in. Could be a hunting party or just a regular party. Hopefully you don't mind. I'm gonna sit down, take a little break. It's taken me a little while to collect all these rocks, but I think we're gonna finally have a decent fire ring here. Amazingly, there wasn't one before. They were just burning on the ground behind me. Well, this, this looks like a state-approved fire ring to me. Our neighbors took off. We started getting a few sprinkles and they were out of here. An old Jeep showed up. I think he's trying to see how deep he can make those mud puddles. And there's motorcycles running around. I think other than that, we're the only ones left on this lake. I get this fire built up. You guys have been seeing me use fast fires to light these things forever and I get a lot of suggestions about trying to use a homemade style fire starter. I think it's made with uh, wood shavings and candle wax and maybe some dryer lint. But actually there's another YouTuber, his name is uh, Jack of All Trades, believe it or not. He's from Minnesota. He sent me some of the homemade ones that he uses. I'm gonna try them tonight, see if they're any good. I'll put a link to his channel down below if you guys want to check out how to make these things. I'm going to do this the same way that I do the fast fires and we'll see how well these work.
be really cool if they did work out, but honestly, I don't got time to make my own fire starters. This looks like it's going to work though. Grab this guy and get the chair set up. It's turning out to be a beautiful night. Man, it's almost depressing walking around the side of my truck. I'm still hoping we can take care of that one day. This side looks much better. I'm guessing it's young kids on those dirt bikes because they've driven by like 37 times now. We're gonna let this burn down and then we'll get supper started. For supper tonight, I'm having something that I haven't made on the channel in a little while, a huge ribeye steak. We're gonna make it over the fire and I think the best way to do it is to put this over the top of it. That way it can catch some of the smoke and bring up that internal temperature without burning the outside. That's the plan anyways. Let's go put it on. Well, here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna keep the stake up a little bit higher and I'm gonna use this to trap in some of the heat. I don't know, it should work. Why not? Last week when I was out camping with Adele, we bought some shrimp, so we're going to make that up tonight as well. They're still frozen right now, so we're going to add some water to them. And then when the steak finishes up, we'll just throw the shrimp on a cast iron. A little bit of butter should be excellent. Just a bunch of geese. Awesome. looking good so far. It's not really cooking the outside. But it's definitely warming up the inside. We'll keep her going. I don't know, can you guys hear that? I think that Jeep was probably stuck, but I heard him yelling and screaming and getting in and out of the vehicle. I think they're out now. Now that sounds like a baby crying again. I've heard this sound before. Just all kinds of noises out here tonight. Cloud cover is gonna mean it's super dark tonight too. Sometimes I get asked, you ever get scared out in the woods? Make no mistake, I'm the baddest thing out here. Except for maybe this ribeye tonight. Oh, it's gonna be good. guys see the lights on the Jeep drive by real slow like and I'm sitting here and then splash in the water <laughs> of course there's a beaver back there I should have known to expect it I mean there's trees chewed on all over around here oh it's coming up here right there's the tree that he's after I think this is where he came up yeah he was up here just took back off into the water. We might get a look at him before the end of the night. The other cool thing is the clouds are finally breaking, which means we might have a good star show tonight.
my Jeep is back. But I think we can get the shrimp on. Go four tablespoons of butter, a little bit of garlic powder, and some salt. That should do. We'll let this melt down and then we'll get the shrimp on. I don't think this will take too long. Maybe just drop it down a little bit too. Nice and white, the translucent meat's all cooked, so I think they're about done. Are you ready for this? Check this out. I think first I'm going to try the shrimp. They look perfect. They taste perfect too. I don't remember the last time I had steak and shrimp, but it feels like I'm at Red Lobster and I'm probably gonna have a food coma tonight. Let's give this steak a try. It's like butter just melts right in your mouth. I gave it my best shot, couldn't do it. Too much food. It's all right, this will be supper Tuesday night. I got some really cool things planned for tomorrow. But tonight, I'm hoping I can get a shot of the stars. See you in the morning. Just a beautiful morning. 47 degrees, a little bit of chill in the air. I've been sitting in here watching Vice Script Garage. It's probably one of my favorite YouTube channels. And I'm gonna go outside this morning. I knew we'd have a beautiful shot out the front door, and it's a good one. But I thought I'd take you out and see what do these other campsites look like. The one that we were at last year, has it gotten any better? We're gonna go find out. Yeah, I knew this was gonna be a beautiful view. I'm hoping that sun decides to come out a little bit. That would be nice. Look at how nice and clean that is. Awesome. And then we still got that. But let's go check out those other sites and see if they've gotten any better. We'll try our best to avoid the water puddles along the way. This first site that we're gonna go to, I was at last year and there was RV parts everywhere. It looks like they're probably partying out of class A. It was a mess. Well, this looks like a hundred times better already. This whole area right here was covered in RV parts, wheels, bunch of plumbing equipment, kitchen cupboards. I'm so glad to see that this spot is cleaned up. It's one of the first campsites that you come to off the main road. It's really easy to get to and you know, they have something called a broken window theory where if you come to a spot and you see it's trashed, well, you're more inclined to just throw your garbage out as well. So it's nice that someone is picking this place up. It's a good first impression. There's just little remnants of that Class A still here yet, but not too bad.
campsite number two. Is that like an old recliner or something? It's a seat out of a car. Nice. Well, this here is the site we stayed in last year. Unfortunately, had some garbage added to it. Like I mentioned in the beginning, there's a lot of people staying here long term. The good news is you can still find some nice campsites. This one doesn't have any trash other than, well, put a toilet paper in the fire ring. But check out the views. I mean, this is just absolutely stunning. Well, looks like this is the end of the road. Of course, I have to see what's around the bend. Is this a little safe or something? I think it's one of those folding cookers. A beautiful view. The views in this forest, absolutely breathtaking. So I was told that the state has been out here trying to improve this forest. But unfortunately, this is what's happening instead. I mean, I guess you really can't blame them. This is just an absolute shame. But, I mean, we talk about it all the time. If we don't take care of these places, they're just gonna get shut down. I was gonna stay right here last year. Maybe I should have, kinda of lost my chance. Maybe they'll open it back up. It's usually not the way it works. Oh, look at that. Another set of signs. Well, I think maybe this is the cue to head her back to the camper. Well, if you're still watching, it's either one of two things. You either fell asleep or you really enjoy the channel. Now, I'm hoping it's the second one. Here's the deal. I was gonna share with you guys, I mean, since we're at the end of the video, share with you guys kind of what I've been doing with some of the letters and stuff that I've been getting from you guys. This is really cool. A couple of months ago, you guys asked, you know, how can we support the channel? So. Mandy pushed me into opening up a P.O. box, and I'm really glad I did. Because I ask you guys to send letters. I mean, what could be more personal than getting a letter from someone? Emails are great, but an actual handwritten letter? Things that are in this book are very, very dear to me. I, I hold the book close to my heart. In fact, one day at my funeral, there's going to be flowers, and then there's going to be this book. When my grandkids ask, what changes did Grandpa make during his lifetime? It's not going to be about what campsites I've cleaned up or what video I made in the bed of my truck. They're going to take a look at the book and they'll be able to read your stories. I think that's pretty awesome. This is going to choke me up here. So let's just get out and pack up this camper. I still have one bundle of wood left. Last week when Adele and I went out, we didn't have to burn any of this stuff. Maybe I won't have to buy a bundle next week. And yeah, I did have the motion sensors up last night. The forest is starting to come alive again. 
this afternoon, people are showing up. Uh, this morning, I didn't hear a peep out here. It's good to see that the locals are still out here using this. And if you are a local, got offended by the way that I talked about this, well, I guess I appreciate how much you love this piece of land. It's just as much as I do. But solving a problem like this, it's going to take a community. Well, I think we just about got this video in the bag. You guys have been hanging out with me all weekend long. That's definitely long enough. We'll do this again next Tuesday. Until then, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road. Ah, I forgot my keys in the camper. Awesome.